Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1579 that says remove max number of edges to keep graph fully traversable. So guys this question is somewhat of a medium level where if you get the intuition right then it is an easier for you to write the code and approach to the solution. So the intuition part is very much important here uh, rather than the coding part. Now let's begin with the question understanding. So here you were given two person Alice and Bob and uh, you are given n, num n nodes along with that three different types of edges. So a type 1 edge is the edge where only Alice can traverse, a type 2 edge where only Bob can traverse and type 3 edge where both Alice and Bob can traverse. And the edges are given in this form where first parameter is the type and the second two parameters are the source and the destination node. Okay. So a gra uh, here the statement states that a graph is a fully traversed by Alice and Bob if starting from any node they can reach to all other nodes. So for, from any node if they start and they, if they can reach to all other nodes then we can say a graph is fully traversed by both Alice and Bob. And here we need to return maximum number of edges that can remove, right? That we can remove. And after also after removing these edges, the graph must be fully traversed by both Alice and Bob. And if there is a situation that uh, Alice and Bob cannot travel, traverse the whole graph, then return minus one. Okay. See guys, traverse the whole graph, a graph is fully traversed. That means that all the components or all the nodes of, of a graph are connected. All the nodes of a graph are connected. Then there must be edges between all the nodes, right? Then only you can traverse all the nodes from one node, right? From one starting node, you can traverse all the nodes. So that's the simple meaning of this. And yeah, we need to return the maximum number of edges that we can remove. Okay, got this. So guys, now taking a look at the first example, let's first take a look if a bob can traverse in a current graph or not. Uh, let's say, let's take a look at first for Alice, right? Alice, so see, the red means type 1 edge, green means type 2 edge, and blue means type 3 edge, okay? So all the red edges are type 1, that is, can be traversed by Alice, and all the blue are, can be also traversed by Alice, because they are of type 3. So from here, Alice can traverse to this node, from here, it can traverse to this node, because this is a type 3 edge, and from here, it can traverse to this node. So starting from here, Alice can traverse to all other nodes of a graph. So we can say, yeah, the graph is fully traversable for Alice. Now, if you take a look for a Bob, let me change the color. So let's say Bob uh, starts from here. So since there is a edge, Bob can traverse from here to here. Bob can also traverse to this node because uh, this is a type three edge. And from here, Bob can traverse to this node. As you can see, that is also one type three edge. So currently the graph is fully traversable for Bob also. So both Alice and Bob can traverse in a current graph. Okay, got this. Now, we need to find if there are some edges that we can remove such that even after removing those edges, both Alice and Bob can travel. Okay, so let's take an example of this edge. If uh, suppose this is there is no edge here from 1, 2, 3. So initially this, this was a uh, edge for Alice only, type 1 edge. So can Alice traverse to this node from this node? Yeah, Alice can traverse from here to here and then from here to here, right? So removing this edge will uh, won't affect the connectivity of the graph, right? So yeah, we can definitely remove this edge. Further, we can also remove this edge, right? This red one edge, Alice edge, because there is already a type three edge, right? From here to here, one node, one to node two. So we can remove this edge. Apart from that, we cannot remove any of the other edges. See, if you remove this edge, then from node two, Alice can never be able to traverse node four, right? So yeah, only this edge and this edge can be removed. So that's why we have two as our answer, where we are removing the edge from node one to node two. So that's, this is this edge and uh, but node 1 to node 3, that is this edge, right? Clear? Yeah. Now, if you look at the second example, so here, uh, let's say Alice want to travel. Alice is, let's say, here. So Alice can traverse from, uh, this is the type 3, so it can traverse to here, it, it can traverse to, Alice can traverse to here, then here, then here, because there is one edge of type 1. So now, if Bob want to traverse, then Bob can traverse, let's say Bob starts from here, then Bob can traverse to here, right? Because this is a type 3 edge, from here Bob travels to here. Also from here Bob can traverse to this node. So currently Alice and Bob can traverse from one node to all other nodes, right? So the graph is connected. Now is there any way that we can remove some of the edges and even after that the graph can be remain connected? See guys, if you take a look that this is a type 3 edge and this is a type 3 edge. Now there are no other parallel edges uh, along with this type 3 edge, right? 
right so if there would be any edge for the vowel let's say from 2 to 3 then this would be redundant edge because there is already a type 3 edge where both alice can and bob can traverse so parallel to that edge there is no other edges so yeah, there are no redundant edges here correct so there are no such redundant edges so we return 0 as our answer because if you remove any one of the edges from the this graph then the connectivity of a graph won't uh, remain right the, the graph would be split into two components so yeah, that's why we cannot remove any edge from this graph now if you take a look at the third example so let's traverse for uh, Alice so from here Alice can traverse through this node then this node Alice is traversing Alice but after this Alice cannot traverse through this node because there is no edge for Alice there is no type 1 or type 3 edge and similarly if you take a look for a Bob Bob can traverse from here to here and this is the type 3 so Bob can traverse still here but Bob cannot traverse through this node so the graph that is already given to us is itself not connected right it's itself not connected and that's why we return minus one as our answer right we don't have to remove any edges because the graph that is already given to us is itself not connected right alice and bob they both cannot travel to all the other nodes right so yeah guys till now i hope you have some understanding of the question that uh, what is uh, fully traversing our graph is known and how alice and bob can travel to all other nodes right now talking about the approach so what can be one approach so one approach is remove one edge at a time and check for connectivity so let's say you are given edges at m like edge one let's say 10 edges you are given in a graph let's say n equal to 8 and for that you are given 10 edges now one way is to do is what you can do remove the current edge let's say current edge edge of y remove this this is the first step in the second step check for connectivity check for alice and bob connectivity check for alice and bob connectivity so if we can perform these two steps and determine which edges we can remove right but uh, this is a, isn't an efficient approach because there can be total 10 to the power uh, 5 number of edges and for checking each edge would take bigger of n time so that is nothing but 10 to the power 5 so this is greater than 10 to the power 9 so that's why here this approach will give you time limit exit error right this will give you TLE. Now what another way we can do is we can reverse this thing. So here we were, we were removing one edge at a time and then checking for connectivity. And here what you can do is in the reverse way we can add edge, add necessary edge and make graph. Right? This is simply the reverse approach of this. Here we were removing one edge at a time and instead of that what we can do is we can add the necessary edge uh, and make a graph dynamically see the word i am using here is necessary edge so we will focus on what is the necessary edge that we need to add okay but uh, how you can perform this so we can easily perform this by using dsu that is disjoint set union or union fine algorithm okay union fine data structure not an algorithm this is a data structure so with the help of dsu data structure we can create a graph dynamically by adding one edge at a time by increasing the connectivity among the nodes of a graph and that's why we can uh, make a graph dynamically okay now for uh, the next thing see we have to check connectivity connectivity or you can say fully traversable for Alice and for Bob right see the, uh, if let's say if a graph is fully connected connected for Alice but that doesn't mean the graph is fully connected for Bob and vice versa so we have to check connectivity for Alice as well as Bob so can't we create one separate graph right so let's say uh, dsu for alice and dsu for bob so one graph for alice and one graph for bob so we can do this because we are creating the graph here here in this approach we are creating the graph so since we are creating the graph we should create a separate graph for alice as well as bob so that it would be easy to determine the connectivity it would be easy to determine the connectivity right because there can be case where uh, the graph is fully traversable for alice and not for bob and for such a case if we have a separate graph then we can determine it easily right okay clear to you now further as i told you we will add necessary edge so to identify whether the current edge uh, do we have to add or not so for that what we would do see if you are given one some nodes like n1 and n2 and you are using dsu dsu disjoint set union data structure then how you can tell whether uh, we do we need to add an edge between node 1 and n2 how you can tell whether the two nodes are connected or not say here in dsu we have some 
we have one function let us find find it so if you do like this dsu this is object of this data structure and you take find parent of n1 equals equals to dsu dot find parent of n2 so let's say if the find parent of n1 that means it returns the parent of n1 let's say it is x let's say this is y this is x and y the parents and if in the condition if x equals to y if this condition is true that means the both the components n1 and n2 is connected this is they are connected right got it if two nodes have same parents then we can say they are connected and at that point if they are connected then we don't edge we won't add the edge as we simply add the edge right we simply do what we will simply do dsu dot make union n1 and n2 right we do simply do this that is add the current edge this is add the current edge and we don't add the edge if the parents are already same means they are already connected got this clear till here now further we have to focus on minimize total edges minimize total edge that is nothing but equal to remove maximum possible edges right so since we are cre creating a graph from scratch then we will try to use the minimum number of edges possible right and that would be nothing but equal to maximum edges that can be removed okay so to do this what we would do is we can prioritize type 3 edge right type 3 edges we can prioritize them because uh, this type 3 edge would uh, be a path for both alice and bob right and if we prioritize this then any edge parallel to type 3 edge can be removed right because this, this type 3 edge can be used by both alice and bob so yeah, what we would do is we will prioritize type 3 edge that means first we will build a graph with the help of type 3 edge then after that we will add edges for alice and bob only edges that are necessary okay clear till here now let's take this example and let's try to create a graph okay here let me take a graph for alice and here let me take a graph for bob now first identify what are uh, uh, what are uh, edges are of type 3 so this is the type 3 edge this is the type 3 edge okay these two are only type 3 edge now let's create a graph from a node 1 see there are four nodes n is a four equal to four so let me draw four nodes okay and here also let me draw four nodes now uh, here there is an edge from node 1 to node 2 that is of type 3 so let's add the edge here from node 1 to node 2 there is an edge from 2 to 3 add this edge 2 to 3 see before adding this we also check whether there is already an edge or not okay we will check so but there was no edge so we simply added so guys after this there is one type 1 edge so from node 1 to node 3 now you will check if node if uh, node 3 is connected to node 1 so for that what you can do is uh, you can make a call for find parent in the ds you will check like this find parent of node 1 and find parent of node 3 and if you do that you will find that both node 1 and node 3 are same parent and also you can see that you can from node 1 you can traverse node 3 via node 2 right there is a path from node 1 to node 3 from via node 2 so yeah uh, this is a redundant edge and we will count this as a redundant edge redundant edge okay now moving ahead there is again one uh, edge of a type 1 from 2 to 4 now you will check the parent of 2 and parent of 4 they both are different because they are not connected as you can see there is no way you can go from node 2 to node 4 so yeah, that's why we have to add an edge here so this is not a redundant edge right now there is one another edge of a type 1 from node 1 to node 2 that is from here to here but that is an obvious re a redundant edge because they are both are connected so this is again redundant this is, was also redundant now this is uh, a type 2 edge that is what a bob from a node 3 to node 4 from here to here and you will check that there is no path from node 3 by which you can traverse node 4 so we will make an edge here okay so at the end this way you will construct two graphs one for alice one from bob for bob and by adding only the necessary edges right this way we will add only the necessary edges and remove the redundant edges right so yeah there were two redundant edges that we can see and yeah we written two as our answer now guys following the same approach we will write the code here see this dsu data structure code snippet would remain same it is i haven't made any changes in this uh, dsu code snippet so now what i am doing here is i am creating two graphs one for alice and one for bob okay and i have taken three variables redundant edges total number of redundant edges edges in the alice and total edges in the bob 
right now here as i had told you earlier that we will prioritize type 3 edge or the edge uh, that can be traversed by both alice and bob so we will check if an edge is of type 3 then i took the nodes uh, node 1 and node 2 that is u and v and i check if uh, u and v do both have the same parent for our alice and or do both have a same parent for bob if they don't have that means this condition their parents are different for either alice or bob in that case we will add we will have to add this edge means that is not there is not an edge from node 1 to node 2 in alice or uh, in bob in any one of the graph then in that case we would make union in the both right we would add that edge in both and we would increment the count of edges in this alice graph and the edges in the bob graph i will tell you later then why do we do we need that and in the else condition if we don't have to add this edge then what we will do we will simply increment the count of redundant edges that means we have removed that edge and after that uh, this for loop here we are adding the edges that are specific to alice and that are specific to bob right of a type 1 and our type 2 if the edges of type 1 and that is uh, the parent of node 1 and node 2 are different and then in that case add that edge and uh, increment the count for alice edges else condition increment the count for redundant edge same thing for bob and at the end we check see here we are only adding necessary edges and for a graph with n components how many necessary edge you require n minus 1 edges are required here yeah, right these are the minimum number of edges required if a graph has n number of nodes now here we check if how many edges are there in alice alice graph and how many edges are there in the bob graph they must be at n minus 1 because we are uh, adding minimum number of edges and the minimum number of edges is nothing but n minus 1 edges do they both have n minus 1 edges if you have, then we return this count redundant edge else we return minus 1 because if there are edges less than n minus 1 that means the graph is not connected not fully connected you can say and in that condition or in that situation we have written minus 1 so you have to keep, keep a track that whether all the nodes of a graph is connected or not we keep a track of how many edges are there in the earliest graph and how many edges we have added in the bob graph and yeah that's why uh, we are using this condition now talking about the time and space complexity see here the time complexity for this uh, equation is big O of n plus alpha types so of n so this alpha n is nothing but a time taken by this make union function so this is a recursive uh, function that means this function will call fine parent and fine parent is itself a recursive function so that will take some time but not much and yeah space complexity is also big O of n that will be used by this dsu data structure here internally we are using two vectors of a size n right size n so yeah that's for the time and space complexity so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you